हेलो एवरीवन यस कैसे हैं आप लोग जैसे सर ने बताया मेरा नाम कृष्णपाल राजपूत है और हाल ही में घोषित हुए रिजल्ट यूपीएससी 2021 की परीक्षा में मेरा तीन सौ उनतीस में स्थान के साथ चयन हुआ है मैंने तैयारी अपनी वेदांता एकेडमी वेदांता कोचिंग के साथ ही शुरू की थी 2017 में ग्रेजुएशन के सेकेंड ईयर के टाइम मैं दिल्ली में आया था और बर्मा सर के गाइडेंस के अंडर मैंने तैयारी अपनी शुरू की थी उसके बाद मेरा ग्रेजुएशन हुआ और फर्स्ट टाइम तो मैंने अपना दिया उसमें मेरा सिलेक्शन फिल्म नहीं क्वालिफाई हुआ एंड दिस वाज माय सेकंड अटैम्प्ट एंड आई हैव गॉट थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन रैंक सो द स्पेशल क्रेडिट ऑफ माय सक्सेस गोज टू वेदांता कोचिंग एंड वर्मा सर एंड ऑल द फैकल्टी टीचिंग टीचिंग हेयर फैकल्टी ऑफ वेदांता अकेडमी वाज द फर्स्ट वन टू शो कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन मी Uh, they always used to say me that when I used to uh, write answers like practice answer after every coaching, uh, sir might be giving one question, two questions daily. You write you, uh, you write answer and go personally, uh, personally to show sir the answer you have written. Sir will give personalized feedback and review on that answers. So sir, all the faculty used to see me, uh, say me that I have a bright future, and uh, I am glad that I have uh, I have been able to uh, realize uh, realize those works uh, in uh, reality. So uh, I think uh, one thing I want to say primarily is that all of you are doing good. All of you do, are doing great. Whatever you are reading is is that what is required. Just maintain the consistency and never uh, be underconfident. Always be confident about your chances. I am also hail uh, hail from a rural background. My uh, mother is a Anjanwadi Sahika, so I'm I'm uh, from uh, my from a proper village background. It's not said that my family was very in a high, uh, high in civil services or anything. It it, it was never like that, and uh, so that's why I am saying that the credit of and uh, of my success and this journey goes to Vedanta Academy. So two things I have told you that maintain consistency and uh, never be underconfident about your chances. I have uh, realized that in UPSC it's never about that who is giving fifth attempt, who is already selected. And uh, who is uh, like many people? You might be seeing that some people have uh, got a rank, uh, lower rank, and they are still giving attempts. So people think that. The students think that if they are already qualified. They are giving exams along with us. Then how we are uh, comparable with them? It's never like that. Everyone, it is a level playing field for every student here. Either you are first time. Or your last attempt, or fifth attempt, or you are selected. Uh, even that, even then also. So you just need to uh, read the properly and need to show guidance. Look, whatever uh, what is it doing nowadays with the advancement in technology and internet, everything is available on internet very uh, in a very vast amount. You can have notes, uh, coaching classes also. I think uh, on uh, YouTube. But what we need to is the filter out. What we need to read. Because there is plethora of knowledge in UPSC, they might ask anything, and you should be prepared for that also. But as a, there are limits to human mind, we can't read. We can read actually, but we can't retain everything. And it's not about reading; it's about retaining. When you are doing uh, your questions wrong, your basic question wrong, which are uh, being asked from direct NCERT or standard work, then it causes a problem in our selection. So the need is to have guidance. But what we need to read. And if you are having doubts, then need to uh, then uh, need to have clarified uh, with teachers uh, as I used to do in the Vedanta Academy. And uh, this is my primary um, primarily message to all of you guys uh, studying. Whatever you're doing is good. Just maintain the consistency. Okay, it's not like that. Uh, I have seen my uh, people. It's it will it will not work like that. You are reading for two three days and then taking a break for two days. It will not happen. You have to maintain a consistency. All seven days of week, you need to read, and never think about that. In that uh, famous question, that how many hours you read? Yeah, in UPSC, it's never like that. You need to read ten hours per day, twelve hours per day, and you will get selected. No, it it, it can't uh, it it can't be like that. So what uh, what uh, is needed is that uh, whenever you are having a free time. You are studying in that time. You are sleeping. You are uh, doing any uh, important work. Then it is necessary that you give, you are giving their, your time there. But whenever you are having free time, your focus should be on studies, on your syllabus, and all. So never ever waste your time on anything which is not productive for the exam. 
And uh, now I will talk about uh, some of my strategy, like how I have cleared the exam in second attempt. So as I have earlier, uh, earlier said, the guidance is the primary requirement for the, this exam. And there is no better guide than the syllabus of the exam. So all of you should be, uh, must go through the syllabus of prelims and mains examination thoroughly. Most of the topics you should, uh, you should have in mind, uh, which are mentioned in the syllabus. And you, whenever you are reading any topic, any book or any newspaper, even, even newspaper, then you should be able to connect your syllabus with the news article given. So, because until and unless you are not having that uh, syllabus in your mind, that, that should be printed in your mind like a computer file. So, that's the syllabus is the primary guide, I will say. Secondary guidance will, of course, come from teachers. You are having doubt. You uh, and if you are have you uh, anyone given the uh, last uh, last exam fifth June? Any of you? Okay. So practice test papers, which are uh, very necessary, and uh, write answers and all. So so first I will talk about prelims examination, which is the I will say the toughest uh, stage in this exam, because the ratio is uh, around one percent of the those who. Like the exam, only 1% of them are selected. So prelims is a very tough examination, I will say, as you will say, the cutoff is uh, reducing drastically in recent years. Uh, recently released March 6, it was 84 around uh, for OBC category and 87 for general category. So for prelims, what we need to focus is on books. There are two types of books. First, uh, first is NCRT books, which are uh, for history, for economy, for polity, and for geography. So first, when you have your basics and uh, foundation uh, foundation subjects covered, then you move on to standard books, which are, which are spectrum for modern history and the children for polity. And I will uh, suggest uh, there are many books for economy. You can refer any one of them. Basically, in economy, they are not asking many uh, research level questions. They are asking conceptual questions. For example, if inflation is rising, then what, gover uh, what government can do, what RBI can do. So they, they need to have a conceptual clarity and clarity that whenever you are writing a top, uh, reading a topic, you should be able to know what uh, is the implication of that topic on uh, the subject you are reading. So after having uh, your NCRTs covered, your standard books covered, you should try to uh, evaluate yourself. Evaluation is very necessary in this journey. Uh, what happens sometimes that we keep reading and we keep thinking uh, that uh, we have studied uh, enough and we should be able to qualify. But it's not like that. When uh, even uh, while revising, you will uh, think that uh, I know this, I know this too, and I know everything. But it's not like that. When when you attempt the questions, you might forget the things which you have read. So the evaluation is very very necessary in this journey. And evaluation will come from, of course, test paper, mock test, which Vidanta coaching also provide prelims test series. Uh, you should be, uh, you should join that and uh, and uh, attempt the question paper and should evaluate how many marks you are getting, and then. Yeah, uh, the basic focus uh, when uh, when giving the test should be that basic questions should not be wrong. Look, there is will always be a surprising element even in test series and in uh, real examination also. You will not expect that things they will ask. You will never as, uh, expect even uh, no one can anticipate that. There will always be surprising element. So don't be afraid of them. Just think about your basic question, which NCRT and uh, standard books you have read. The questions coming from them should never be wrong. But when you are doing wrong, someone else will be uh, doing them correctly and they will be getting qualified. So to, for the focus should be on basic questions. And when you are having basic questions wrong, uh, so the, again, the, uh, some key strategies revision, as every people say, every teacher will, uh, told, uh, will tell you, that revision is a key strategy. You need to have a multiple revisions and uh, that's how things work. So evaluation is very necessary. Uh, after prelims, uh, you will qualify. There will be mains stage, uh, and there will be gap of around uh, three year, uh, three months in the prelims and the mains stage. For mains, uh, along with general subjects, you need to have an optional subject also, which will be a specialized subject. Uh, the syllabus of uh, any optional is uh, the honors syllabus of any three-year graduation program. So th that is a very vast program, uh, vast syllabus, which you need to cover in around three months and in that time you need to cover GS, uh, essay, uh, also these things also. So uh, for uh, some key uh, parameters you need to look while opting for optional subject is that uh, you should have an uh, interest on that subject because that is when syllabus is such a huge syllabus, you can't just keep reading and, uh, uh, and write answer 
it's not like that. We need to score good marks in optional. And many people say you might have heard that optional decide your rank. So to first, you should have an interest in that. Many people opt for optional, which is subject in their graduation. You may also go with that. No problem in that. Or you will also go with any other subject which you might find interesting. Second thing, you should look at syllabus. Uh, syllabus of some subject is very huge, while syllabus of some subject is uh, manageable. So look at the syllabus, go through the topper's video, which, uh, whichever subject you are opting for optional, go through the video of that to of, of toppers of that subject. They will tell you about the strategy, how is it scoring or not. Third strategy should be about uh, the resources available for that subject. For some subject, there are uh, very good quality resources available. For some, it might not be. So these three parameters you need to have a look and along with, uh, of course, the the, score, the subject is scoring or not, it is also need to be looked at. And uh, for uh, there is, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, want to say two, two things that, that need to be focused on in the uh, main stage, essay and uh, ethics. These are scoring subjects, but uh, sometimes students get lesser marks in this, these subjects. Essays generally will be uh, totally different from whatever you are listening or uh, reading around you. So you need to have a vast knowledge of the GS levels only then you can attempt the essay. Only then you can have thoughts, ideas, which need to be represented in essay. So until and unless, uh, never think about the writing essay and uh, at, at this stage, if you are starting your journey at this stage, then uh, until and unless your syllabus is not covered completely, a writing essay will not be possible, will not be that uh, much uh, easy. So covering uh, the first, uh, memorizing all the syllabus and then reading throughout uh, thorough syllabus is the primary requirement. And as soon as you qualify prelims, the guidance of Burma Sir, specialized guidance, guidance of Burma Sir will be available for the interview stage. Uh, many things will be told about you, what they are uh, asking to you, and what they uh, expect from you. Uh, they don't uh, check your knowledge, as they already know that you have qualified mains and prelims, so of course you are having a great knowledge. And uh, this is a reality that everyone can't know everything. Even uh, I might not be knowing some things which you might be knowing, because it's not possible for any person to know everything in this world. So this is not a very uh, something to be afraid of. Whenever in the interview stage you don't know anything, you can uh, say to them, "Sorry, sir, I don't know." Even myself, I told them, uh, "Sorry, sir, I don't know." Around of, uh, in the five questions, and still I got one of the highest marks, one ninety-three marks in interview stage. So it's never a knowledge is never a problem. Just uh, prob uh, just what need to be uh, focuses that be confident about yourself, be polite there, and uh, never uh, try to give answers uh, to the questions you don't know. It's uh, never a problem. You don't know answer, never a problem. Even they might be knowing something which you know. That's uh, not a very good story. So this was my strategy in a brief. Uh, if any one of you are having any question, any doubt, you can ask me, I'm here. Anything about resources, books, which books need to be read and uh, how to read anything, no problem. Yeah, of course. So look, NCRT just create a foundation for your basic knowledge. Look, what happens? Many students might be coming from engineering background or any other BSc like. So they don't know the basic syllabus is, of course, all history, polity, economy, geography. So they are not very well aware of those subjects. Reading standard books might be difficult for them. So that's why they say that read uh, NCRT and one or two questions might be asked from them. And you have a conceptual clarity that how things work in uh, reality and practicality. So that's why reading NCRT is necessary. I will uh, strongly suggest that we should read NCRT. Without the look in prelims, it is a matter of sometimes one question, two questions. Many students disqualify from just point marks. So I have one or two questions in uh, my first attempt. Uh, one question was asked from NCRT, which I uh, can't attempt because of my, I also didn't uh, read the NCRT in the first attempt. So that's where problem are there. But of course, as you were saying that they are just a basic you need to have a great coverage of standard books, which are available for all the subject uh, 
and along with that if you are confident that of revision first look don't multiply sources until you are not confident about your first source if you have not read a book uh, standard books properly then don't go for any other source only after you have read completely everything you know the things you can memorize the things you can attempt the questions from uh, which are asked from that book only go to a uh, secondary source which might be coaching notes printed notes uh, from vedanta also and uh, if any other doubt are there then of course teachers are also there yeah uh, sorry i forgot to tell about current affairs sorry so uh, current affairs uh, one thing you need to do religiously is need uh, read a newspaper uh, the hindu newspaper i used to read you can refer to indian express also uh, look uh, what i when uh, an aspirant asked me i said to them even if you are having your uh, any work for your whole day you didn't get you, know, you didn't have a time to read anything then don't skip a newspaper i also never skip the newspaper if i get a time at 12 uh, 12 in the night and i will complete my newspaper and then i will go to sleep never ever skip a newspaper of even one day even last uh, i have given the exam of uh, last uh, 5th june exam around three questions were directly from newspaper so have a very wide uh, wide knowledge religiously read i will say around uh, one, one and a half hour or two hours you might be taking it so newspaper first thing very necessary foremost thing secondary source uh, should be any coaching magazine which will be in the market so refer to them and uh, this and uh, newspaper these two sources are enough if they are asking anything other from this uh, even uh, no one will be knowing that but everyone is reading limited so newspaper yeah, never ever uh, skip the newspaper first uh, most necessary okay yeah okay and the, uh, as i have uh, said earlier that the first you should have memorized the all the syllabus you should be mains and prelims both so you should be aware, uh, aware about what is the syllabus uh, mostly current affairs which is asked from newspaper is about arcane uh, about uh, science and technology and environment so if you are like i will give a example like uh, last year uh, this uh, last uh, 5th june exam they have asked a question what is mia baki method it was in news around i think last year and it is a method to uh, produce forest in urban areas so this was this question was asked directly from newspaper so when you have syllabus you know the uh, environment uh, environment topic that uh, deforestation and this uh, pollution is a very broad topic urbanization heat island these are the topics some of them so you should be aware about syllabus only then you can go to read the newspaper even in polity if something is happening like you, uh, if you are reading the newspapers you might be knowing that the mercy petitions of governor and president this was in very news regarding uh, religious prisoners in tamil nadu so these are things then you read the uh, topic and then you uh, complement that with your basic book you read quality you go to the section of uh, pardoning power of president and governor you compare with them you uh, learn the meaning of all the five terms given reply by respite and remission and uh, commutation and pardon and compare them with the powers of governor so this should be approach first know the syllabus then read the newspaper science and technology many questions they are asking we should be very aware of, uh, very well aware about that on every sunday there is a specific page dedicated to science and technology in the hindu we should read uh, all of uh, full uh, dedicatedly that news in that uh, page and uh, make notes of also i will say uh, notes of one line question you should make that uh, example i have mia baki method bio rock technology questions asked, asked uh, in fifth june exam so one line question you make notes and if any if any broader topic they are covering gst council was in news recently if any broad topic is there regarding in subject then complement that with book knowledge thank you Uh, yeah of course uh, it's uh, sometimes difficult to manage the graduation and uh, uh, our preparation i will not uh, tell any lie here my sub my graduation was in ba so it was quite uh, quite comfortable and manageable for me because the subject i am reading here history or or other subject they are also not graduation subjects so i i myself never faced any such uh, problems regarding man manageability but of course if you are having bsc or btech there you need to specifically read about chemistry physics or mathematics then it is a very uh, problem very problematic issue 
So I will say that uh, focus uh, equally on both of them because you need to have a graduation to appear in the exam. That is also very necessary. And I also, I have not selected just after my graduation. I have taken two years uh, after my graduation. So it, uh, always remember good things take time. It will not, this is a difficult journey. Many parents are preparing uh, wholeheartedly. So it will not come easier, any easier. So first, uh, of course, we'll uh, give a focus on graduation also. And uh, keep reading basic things, newspaper. Keep doing basic, if you are not having uh, more time to write answers, read multiple sources, read secondary sources, then no problem. Focus on graduation and, and do basic things, uh, read newspaper, read basic books, and that's all. After once you are done with your graduation, you should go uh, uh, full throttle with the uh, uh, preparation of EPS. बिल्कुल प्रिपरेशन में कोई आप ऐसा ना समझे कि कोई भी कंपटीशन आप तैयार करते हैं कि किसी में कम या ज्यादा की जरूरत पड़ती है इसमें अनुशासन की आवश्यकता होती है और सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस जब आप आपने देखा होगा कि इतने इंटरव्यू लेते हैं आई ऑफिसर के कोई मैगजींस में सब ने अपनी अपनी कहानी अपने हिसाब से बताई होती है लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं आप एक चीज कॉमन पाएंगे वो कॉमन क्या होता है आपने महसूस किया होगा सब में एक कॉमन होता है कि अपने आप को अनुशासन में रखना अपना टाइम टेबल अपने हिसाब से बनाना अब जैसा कि इन्होंने बताया कि ये जरूरी नहीं कि आप 12 घंटे पढ़ते हैं 15 घंटे पढ़ते हैं 20 घंटे पढ़ते हैं ये आवश्यकता नहीं है ये मैंने कई बार बोला एक बात बताई जाती जितना पढ़े सोलिड पढ़े हंड्रेड परसेंट तो कुछ होता ही नहीं आपको बताएगा वो पहले भी कि हंड्रेड परसेंट तो रिजल्ट कोई बनता ही नहीं है फिफ्टी परसेंट भी अगर आता है तो क्या होता है वो टॉपर्स बन जाता है यानी जो भी आपकी नॉलेज है उसको आप पूरी तरह से सोलिड बनाए और कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल क्या होता है कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल ये होता है कि आप अगर आप तैयारी कर रहे हैं आप विश्वास रखें पहले तो क्या आप विश्वास रखें कि मैंने अब तैयारी करना शुरू कर दी है तो आप फिफ्टी परसेंट तो आप आई बन चुके हैं आपने कई बार देखा होगा कुछ प्रमोशनों से वीडियो है कोई बच्ची थी उसका पैर जो ना कट जाता है तो वो आपने सुनी होगी कहानी क्या शायद बसेंद्री पाल की है या किसकी कहानी तो जब पैर कट जाता है तो वो बाद में कहती हैं कि मैं एवरेस्ट की चोटी पर चढ़ना चाहते हैं पैर कटने के बावजूद सुना होगा कहानी तो जब उन्होंने मन बना लिया तो किसी ने कहा कि आप तो आधी विजय तो आपने हासिल कर ली यानी मन बनाना भी एक बहुत बड़ी बात है तो सबसे पहले तो आप ये समझ लें कि अगर आप तैयारी करने आए हैं तो फिफ्टी तो आपका काम हो गया कैसे जब आप घर से निकले हैं टाइम भी दे रहे हैं और ऐसा भी नहीं है कि आपको कोई चीज समझ में नहीं आ रही है समझ ही रहे हैं लेकिन गलती कहाँ हो रही है कहीं ना कहीं कॉन्फिडेंस जब लूज हो जाता है वही सबसे बड़ी हार होती है और मेरा ये मानना है कि लाइफ में एक बार पेरेंट्स या अपने कुल चाहे वो सिलेक्ट हो ना हो उसे तैयारी तो जरूर करनी चाहिए मेरा बेटा भी जिस तरह आई वो क्या नाम है डी से इंजीनियरिंग कर रहा है तो मैं कुछ भी कराऊं या ना कराऊं लेकिन उसको क्या है कि एक बार आई तैयारी जरूर कराऊंगा होता क्या है इससे कि मैंने अभी तक ये देखा जितने बच्चों ने तैयारी की है 
मेरा तो काफी लंबा सफर एजुकेशन से रहा है लेकिन मैंने एक बात जरूर देखी है आई बने ना बने आई बन गए तो तो बहुत अच्छी बात और आई नहीं बन पाए तो आप नोट कर लेना कि वो आई से कम काम भी नहीं करेगा ये बात को अच्छी तरह बिठा लें यानी वो कहीं ना कहीं ऐसी पोजीशन में जरूर होगा जो अच्छे काम करेगा बड़े काम करेगा तो यानी आई आईएस क्या मैंने बताया आपको कि एक सोशल वर्क है उसके लिए आप जा रहे हैं तो मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि सारे बच्चों में एक कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल आज एक झलक रहा है आपका कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल और आप जरूर निकलेंगे और मेरी शुभकामनाएं भी हैं और यही आशा के साथ आपने तैयारी करनी है दूसरी बात जो टॉपिक दिया जाता है आपको मेटेरियल दिया जाता है तो वो कहीं ना कहीं रिसोर्स ऐसा नहीं कहीं से उठाया और कहीं से दे दिया ऐसा नहीं होता आपके पीछे जो टीम काम कर रही है वो सॉलिड पॉइंट निकाल करके आपको दिए जाते हैं कई बार बच्चों की शिकायत होती है कि बहुत सारे टॉपिक इसमें नहीं है कोशिश हम यही करते हैं कि कुछ ऐसी चीजें रखी जाए सिर्फ पहले वो तो कर लें पूरा तो क्लास का लेक्चर प्लस नोट्स प्लस बुक्स जब ये कंप्लीट होता है उसके बाद सीरीज शुरू होती है टेस्ट सीरीज अगर आपने टेस्ट सीरीज विद डिस्कशन वो भी आपने पूरा देख लिया तो आपका मैं समझता हूँ कि काफी तैयारी हो जाती है और जो बच्चे सिलेक्ट होते हैं आप उनसे कॉन्फिडेंस से या उनसे बातचीत के माध्यम से आपको पता चलेगा इन्होंने ऐसा नहीं है कि बहुत ज्यादा कोई मतलब दिन रात एक कर दिया हो और निराश हो गए हो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जितना पढ़ा सोलिड पढ़ा और किसी न किसी को आपको माध्यम या डायरेक्शन या गुरु आपको मान के चलना पड़ता है जिसके दिशा और दिशा में आपको काम करना होता है पढ़ना होता है जो जो टाइमिंग होता है ना जो स्टडी का टाइम होता है तो मुझे लगता है अपने यहाँ के स्टूडेंट तो फिर भी इतने सॉलिड हैं कि घूमना फिरना मौज मस्ती से आपने देखा होगा कि बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है आप दूसरे संस्थानों में चले जाएंगे बच्चे क्लास बैठे क्लास निकलने वाले कितने अब्सेंट कितने प्रेजेंट होते हैं ऐसे हर जगह मिल जाएंगे लेकिन मैं देख रहा हूँ एवरेज जो है आपका वेदांता में एवरेज अनुशासन का और वैसे भी देखे कैमरे होने की वजह से टीचर का भी लेक्चर उसमें होता रिकॉर्ड होता है उसकी भी क्वालिटी चेक होती है कोई गलत नहीं पढ़ा रहा आपका भी बिहेवियर देखा जाता है सारी चीज नजर में होती है सब रिकॉर्ड में होता है जब आप क्लास चल रही होती तब भी मैं आपकी जो है हर मोमेंट को देख रहा होता हूँ आप मुझे नहीं देख रहे होते लेकिन हम आपके हर मोमेंट को देख रहे होते हैं तो मैं देखता हूँ कि हमारे बच्चे फिर भी बहुत ही अनुशासन में है और मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि जरूर निकले कई बार क्या होता है जिस ईयर आप तैयारी कर रहे होते हैं उस ईयर नहीं हो पाता है लेकिन मैंने अभी तक जितना बैच अगर आपको दो हजार के बैच हों या पंद्रह सोलह के हों पंद्रह जो भी बैच के पुराने स्टूडेंट हो आपके क्लास के कोई हो तो आप उनसे बताएंगे पूछेंगे कि क्या कृष्ण पाल राजपूत आपके क्लास में थे तो उसमें से कुछ तो कहेंगे ये पीछे बैठ के चुपचाप क्लास लेते रहते तो कोई कुछ मतलब नहीं कौनसा नहीं कोई राजनीति कोई पॉलिटिक्स लेना देना नहीं सिर्फ अपना जब पढ़ने आए तो पढ़ने की बात कर रहे हैं डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं तो स्टडी की बात कर रहे हैं साथ जा रहे हैं तो टॉपिक डिस्कशन बात कर रहे हैं तो यही छोटी छोटी चीजें होती हैं सराउंडिंग नॉलेज सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है तो मैं चाहता हूं कि इनको पहले सम्मानित करें हमारे जो बच्चे आना चाहें कृष्ण पाल जी को आप सम्मानित कर सकते हैं तो सबसे पहले तो मैं ही करता हूं आइए ट्रॉफी भी लाओ ट्रॉफी आ जाओ आ जाओ सारे लोग ये मेरी तरफ से आ जाओ टीचर हैं अभी से टीचर बुला लो उनको बुला लो अभी रुको आ जाओ हाँ बुलाओ सलेश बुलाओ आ जाओ सर आ जाओ चलिए लो हाँ तो ऐसे लो चले आ जाओ आप भी आ जाओ जो समाज लोग आए हुए समाज करने वो भी आ जाए ये लोग रखते जाओ आ जाओ यही गुलदस्ता दे दो खिंचना कोई बात नहीं आ जाओ लो आ जाओ फिर चलो ये अपने समाज से ही है चलिए आ जाओ आ जाओ मैं लगता इधर ही आ जाओ आप कोई बात नहीं हाँ हाँ
चले हो गया आ जाओ ना चलो आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ अब आ जाओ तो बात ना ना कोई बात नहीं आ जाओ बन भाई बात ना 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 आप लोग ना दिलाओ तो सही हाँ नहीं और भी अलग अलग हो जाएगा चलिए आ जाओ अभी आ जाओ चलो आप आ आप जाओ जो आता है यह करते जाओ आप आओ ना और और लो पहले इनके खींच लो मैं आ जाऊंगा सो चलो चलो करो हेलो चलिए तिवारी जी आ जाओ आ जाओ तो सम्मान करो बच्चे को आना चाहते हैं आ जाओ पांच पांच लोग ग्रुप बना के आ जाओ आ जाओ ये लो एक कैमरा इधर कर लो सामान तो मिलना ही चाहिए भाई इतनी मेहनत की है आप इधर कैमरा इधर पीछे कर लो अच्छा अच्छा दे दो दे दो दे दो कर दो आप करो करो अभी नहीं वो वहां देखे चलो ध्यान में बैठो आ जाओ और कोई है क्या नीचे है कौन करके पता करो कोई समाज के लोग तो नहीं आए पता करो वहां पर कोई नीचे बैठ नीचे ऊपर बता करो पहले ये गिर गया नीचे क्या Thank <laughs> you. 